Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you how to, you can basically add a case into Zotero. Uh, there is a particular case that I need to add into Zotero that I haven't actually got in there just at the moment. Uh, so I was trying to actually get a lot of these across and I noticed that some of these weren't there. Um, so for instance, this one, uh, Harvey and the Law Society, uh, that needs to be imported and um, uh, I need to be able to cite it at some point. So I'm going to basically copy the title of the case. I'm just going to go to the plus at the top here and I'm going to add a case. Uh, actually, I'm going to do it into my case notes because I need to know that it's there. So uh, my case here. Uh, the case name is Harvey and the Law Society. Um, I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller so we can see it a bit easier. Uh, so there's a terror here. Where we go? Harvey and the Law Society. So that's um, this one here. Harvey and the Law Society. So that is the court is the um, the uh, also includes like the publisher. And then we have the date decided, 1975. Uh, for some reason, it's always the one to the right that goes at the docket number. And then the reporter volume is the first number. And that's it. So now that it's basically in Zotero, we can reference it immediately. So I can open up a new Word document. Uh, if you have the Zotero Word extension installed, basically all you need to go is to the Zotero tab at the top, go add citation. Uh, yeah, I want the Australian Guide to Legal Citation. If you don't have that, you can go manage styles and you'll be able to find uh, a different style depending on exactly what it is that you need. Uh, so they'll all be listed here. Um, you just basically press the plus and find if you have it installed, uh, you found it online or something. You can also go get additional styles and basically find them uh, within here as well. So I would type in Australian Guide to Legal Citation and it's obviously the fourth edition that I wanted and I would just install that. Uh, but I do have it installed, uh, so I don't need to worry about that. I would just say add citation, Australian Guide to Legal Citation, hit OK. Uh, yep, so then I can basically just try and find that case. So the case was called Harvey, Harvey and the Law Society. Uh, it's Harvey and the Law Society. Add that there. Uh, and then just basically hit enter. So you've already got your uh, first footnote added right there. Uh, yeah. So then uh, it comes up immediately down the bottom. And like I said, if you just basically want to add a second footnote, uh, same citation for instance then you can just even copy that and put it at the end um spelled it wrong not that it matters and it will basically show up so then obviously the formatting for aglc is to not just have a full citation you want to have it basically come up with ibid and uh if you just basically hit refresh it's just because of the fact that it wasn't um you didn't like process it yet to figure out that that would basically need to be done sometimes uh you know, if I add another one now, um, I won't need to hit refresh because it knows that that's basically what it's going to be. So third footnote, uh, same thing. It's going to be fine. And then, for instance, if I wanted to uh, update the information, like maybe I'm trying to be a little bit more specific and I want to have uh, information about like who it was who said this in the case, you can also basically go edit the citation. Uh, you can just re-click that particular citation. And I can say page uh, 58 is where it was said, um, maybe it was paragraph 99, and it was um, uh, Chief Justice Kaifal or something like that. Uh, and maybe I want to say you should see this particular case, for example, and uh, that will basically show up. And so for here, because it's an image case, it doesn't you know, have to enter the full thing, uh, because that's the way that the formatting works, like for AGLC. Uh, and then, you know, maybe the second citation, we're going to say it was actually somebody else. So we're going to, um, you know, compare with what was said by another justice, like um, uh, Kirby. This is obviously completely made up. None of these people are the people to do with the case. And, um, yeah, again, I can say it was page um, 106, and it was paragraph 205 or something like that. And 
that will all basically come up. And if I had like something else in between uh, those footnotes, I would say, uh, you know, let, let's find another case that we could basically reference. Uh, we've got Lewis and Ogden, that was another case that we need to reference. Lewis and Ogden, we'll select that. Um, this is my second case I should uh, read and cite. Um, uh, well, I'll often say something like, see this. Uh, again, let's say it's um, uh, uh, Sabrina, Justice Sabrina, and it was, you know, page three uh, at paragraph 10. So Justice Sabrina will basically come up. And that will be there. So we can see that now because of the fact that there's something coming in between these cases that you obviously wouldn't say it's Ibid because that would be referring to the wrong case. Instead now what it will do is it will say, um, you know, it is Harvey that we're referring to again at number three. Uh, so then, I'll just zoom in. Then, uh, yeah, it will basically just truncate it. And it says that, you know, you've got to refer to number one if you want to read the full citation, because that's the way AGLC works. We don't basically write the full case every single time that we're adding this out. So then, uh, what would happen is if you wanted to move that third citation around, uh, because it is smart, uh, you can put it there. And when we move it to the second one, it's doing the same thing again, where it's saying like to compare that case uh, now with itself, and it'll be referring to number one, but it's following itself immediately, so it should actually be Ibid. Again, it's just because of the fact that you need to refresh the citation, and it fixes it to Ibid. Um, and then, again, this would just like happen every time, so now it's the fourth one that says that it is referring to number one uh, as the full citation. And if you ever want to have more than one case being referred to, you can always, as I said, you can edit these that you've added um, because it's hard to do with these footnotes up here. It works with other citation styles, but just not the footnotes because how you supposed to select it. You select it at the footnote at the bottom. So for footnote number three, maybe I want to refer to more than one case. I'm going to refer to both the Lewis and Ogden, but I'm also going to refer to uh, the Council of the Queensland Law Society and Wright. So then in here, I can basically just write Wright. Um, for some reason, my W is it's like too wide. Uh, the Queensland Law Society and write, um, and I can you know say see also this case, and you know I'm not going to say anything else. You just see the whole case because maybe that whole thing is relevant, and then that will come up, and now you've got both of those cases. So we've got both uh, Lewis and Ogden and the Council, and then we can you know edit. I can if we so needed to, and I can just like click whichever one that it was that I needed to change. Maybe I saw it, it refers to it again at page 5 at uh, paragraph 15. And then I can go into here, maybe I found, oh, you know what? It was actually really important that I should have said it was McLennan, uh, Justice McLennan, who said that. And um, you know, maybe it was also Kirby uh, who said it, and that's cool. Uh, and that will basically update that information. And then again, if I ever so decided that I'm like, you know what, I don't think this is good and I should not enter this. Um, so long as I select somewhere within here, I can just delete whichever case I don't want to use. So then I've just got my second case and we don't have that there. The thing that would be most useful for uh, a lot of people, and when you do have a lot of citations, you do not want to be manually doing your bibliography. Instead, what you would want to do is just go add my bibliography and they entered into there. And uh, if you were to say, add another case to your list while you're writing, then, uh, you know, uh, let's say, oh my, uh, let's use the same case we had, the council and write. Um, add it again go back here, so we've got number three, it says that it's been added again, the council, whatever, uh, and sometimes it does, yeah, just show up immediately because you've added it there. Uh, and you can even copy these footnotes between other documents and everything if you so wanted to, and I think that's basically everything you would need to know about how to do your citations. Um, when it comes to the other formats, uh, I think I should make a, a video basically comparing where you put your your wording, 
because sometimes it won't actually be entirely accurate uh, in terms of if you have a square bracket, you'll need to be in a particular um, order, and if you have a circle bracket, you'll need to be somewhere else. Uh, but yeah, I'll address that in a different video. Enjoy.